वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंडा फैमिली दिस वीडियो इज अ पार्ट ऑफ नेटवर्क थियरी लेक्चर सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू फेजर डायग्राम फॉर बेसिक इलेक्ट्रिकल एलिमेंट रजिस्टर सो हियर फॉर अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ फेजर डायग्राम वॉट आई डू इज आई प्रोवाइड वन ए सी वोल्टेज सोर्स विद रजिस्टर एंड देन आई एनालाइज what will be current passing through resistor and in phasor diagram we are deal with to understand what is the phase difference which is there in between voltage and current that analysis that we will do in time domain as well as in frequency domain after that i'll explain you how phasor diagram is there for resistor and then by waveforms i'll show you how voltage and current will appear with each other so let us start with the basic diagram of circuit with resistor so for that here let me draw one resistor with value r and with this resistor let us apply voltage v of t and i am writing v of t that is sinusoidal voltage that i am applying over here and based on this voltage let us say current passing through this resistor that is i of t so let us understand first what is happening with this resistor in time domain so my dear students as per ohm's law here voltage v of t that will be resistance r into i of t that you can say and here as i have told you we are deal with to draw phasor diagram so for that we need to apply ac input so here let us consider our input v of t that is sinusoidal input that is vm sin omega t then what will be our current then you will be observing our current i of t that will be v of t divided by resistance r and what is v of t that is vm sin omega t so i can say i of t that will be vm by r into sin omega t now let us try to understand first in time domain how much phase difference is there with respect to v of t and i of t so if you observe my dear students here signal is sin here signal is also sin and if you observe frequency of both are same and there is no phase difference which is there in between current and voltage that you can observe so when you have resistor at that time as per v of t and i of t equation in time domain you can say both are in phase or you can say there is no phase difference in between voltage and current so in time domain we can understand for resistor voltage and current are there in phase with each other now my dear students let us try to understand how to represent this voltage and current in frequency domain with respect to phase so what i'll do is i'll be representing voltage and current in frequency domain with respect to phase so you see here if i say i'm having voltage v with phase i am showing by one bar over here whenever you explain things in phasor diagram you should write bar over here in vector there should be arrow with phasor it should be bar and that is equals to here maximum voltage that is vm so i am writing vm and its phase angle that is zero so angle zero that is how i represent voltage in frequency domain if you see current then you will be observing here current with phase it will be magnitude is vm by r and its angle is zero as there is no phase over here right and one more essential thing that you should note down that is impedance so impedance of resistance that is r only and it is also having angle zero right so in frequency domain we represent phase as per this and as resistor is having voltage and current 
are in phase now let us try to understand how to draw phasor diagram now my dear students whenever you draw phasor diagram first of all you should know in phasor diagram with horizontal axis you will be having real component and with vertical axis you will be having imaginary component that you should understand and in this direction it will be having positive real in this direction there will be negative real upward there will be positive imaginary and downward there will be negative imaginary so here we are having voltage v that is having magnitude vm and angle zero so it is having magnitude vm angle zero so i can say here angle is zero over here you see and let us say this is magnitude vm so in phasor diagram horizontally we are having vm and on that we are having current i which is having magnitude vm by r you can say that is also im which is having angle zero so here i am showing current im with this much amount of magnitude and both are in phase that you can see and see both are there on real axis why the reason is voltage and current both are having real component only when we talk about resistor phasor diagram and both are there in phase that even you can observe as per the explanation which i have given over here now my dear students i'll explain you by waveform what is happening with this voltage and current now if you observe our v of t that is vm sin omega t right so vm sin omega t means what it should start from zero magnitude and you will be observing vm sin omega t that is appearing somewhat like this so here peak magnitude that is vm that i can say and this is my voltage waveform that is vm sin omega t now my dear students i'll be explaining you how to have a waveform of current so you see current waveform is vm by r sin omega t and you can say even that is i m sin omega t so here let us draw current waveform over here so it is i m sin omega t means it will start from here only so you see it is having same frequency so i am just drawing i m sin omega t you just observe it so here maximum magnitude of this current waveform that is i m and this is a waveform which is i m sin omega t where i m is v m by r so for resistance you see voltage and current waveforms are in phase so starting point and ending point of this cycle that is same so you can say voltage and current both are in phase for resistor so my dear students only one thing that you should note down here whenever you use resistor at that time it will be having voltage and current both are in phase right only you need to understand what will be the magnitude of current based on resistance that will be voltage divided by resistance now in next video i'll explain you phasor diagram of inductor so that will improve your understanding further regarding phasor diagram thank you so much for watching this video